Okay, so now we're back at the main menu screen. Um, in the center, we have uh, the option to change your profile. Um, so in Ongeki, we have five different profiles. Um, at the moment, I'm on the set profile. Uh, so, yep, that's how you change your profile again. I'll click back here. And then move on to gallery. Now, within Ongaku, um, as when you complete a level, you will be given a different type of medal depending on how well or how bad you did. Uh, we have uh, normal uh, medals, a pass medal, and then we have bronze, silver, gold medals as well. And then if you were to hit every note, every paint bubble in the level, and also collect all the Ongaku bubbles, which are collectibles within the game, you will get an S rank. Now, if you hit a gold medal on one of the levels, you will be able to what to look in the gallery at the images, the background images um, for that level. Uh, if you were to get all the Ongaku bubbles, you can then watch the good and bad animations for that video, for that level. Sorry. Um, so yeah, that's what the gallery is for. You can click on each individual level and uh, view the artwork and the animations. So, yeah. As I say, I, I haven't unlocked anything on this profile, so I can't view them at the moment. But that's what the gallery is for. And then next up is the Melody Maker. Now, due to the size and the complexity of the Melody Maker, I've actually done a separate video um, detailing the whole of the Melody Maker, um, how to set custom levels up, how to create levels in the Melody Maker, how to share levels, um, and that's on a separate video. Uh, I will post a link to that video uh, in the comment section below um, for you guys to look if you if you wanted to know more about the Melody Maker. Um, so yeah. Next up is the high scores, so if we click in there. And basically this is just the high scores for all the story mode. So yeah, you can view your uh, high scores and compare them with other profiles in Ongaku. And then we have the options screen. And this basically shows the music volume, the SFX volume, and the mouse sensitivity. You have the slider bars, so you can change these to, to whatever you want. You can change them to, to your preference. On the right side, we have the control types uh, that you saw when you first created your profile. Uh, if you wanted to change your control type halfway through the game, you, you could do simply clicking on the arrows here. And then underneath that, we have the sprite packs. Now, the sprite packs at the moment it's set to Ongaku. When you complete the game, you will receive another sprite pack, and that basically changes the image of Ongaku, so he changes to a different version of Angaku. These will, the more will become uh, available for download as the, when the game's released. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to spoil which ones there are, uh, but you, if when you download them, you can change them in the option menu. Then underneath the mouse sensitivity, you have the tutorial, and this links you to the tutorial that you viewed when you first set your profile up. And then underneath that, you also have another link to your profile where you can change the profile you're using. And then underneath that, we have the credits, and these show the credits of who was involved in the creation of Angaku. Uh, so yeah, check that out if you want. There, there might be something, you might receive something for watching the credits. Um, okay, so let's go back to the main menu. And then click into achievements. Now we have 30 achievements within Angaku. These range from completing all the levels, getting gold ribbons on all the levels, um, the other stuff within Angaku, creating levels um, in the Melody Maker. But fine, we have 30 of them, so yeah, they're, they're there. So you can view through that. And finally, we have the Tunematic. So let's go into this and I'll explain what that's all about.